Hey y'all, it's Rachel with Mr. Willis Glitter. Happy Friday. Woo woo, we made it. Another week. Yes. Um, today, I am going to show you how to do an easy peasy plaid um, with the help of my friend Linda um, at um, LB Creates. I have all the links and information down below. Um, she created a super cool, easy file for us to use. And um, so I will be showcasing how easy that is to use. And we will be re we will be creating our own plaid. This is the one I did last night, watching TV, just chilling. Um, it took me about, I don't know, an hour and a half. But that was me not being able to find any of my my supplies, make and do what, what I have at the house, which is not a lot. And um, I'm super, super proud of this. And this is even with me messing up like 100 times. It looks friggin' awesome. So, hey, guys. Hey, 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 hey. Um, I will let you all roll on in. So um, I will be going over. Let me move my keyboard because, you know, I love to fling glitter places. Um, I need to get a piece of paper still. I'm going to be going over with the things that I'm going to use today. We are going to be doing a Halloween one. So this one was purple and black. Um, so with this one, um, I'm going to show you. I used um, purple monkey. And for the black, I used Desire. And then for those in between pieces that were, um, I think should have been just a tad bit darker, in my opinion, I mixed the two and created my own like purple black mix. Um, so there's no rhyme or reason. It's whatever you feel is right between those two. But because I'm like, yeah, that's cool. But on the one I'm going to do today, I am going to do Tiger's Eye, um, Funky Pirate, and then Desire, which I, I my stickers off of here. Um, so instead of mixing my two glitters to make a darker glitter, I'm just going to use a third glitter in between. So I think it's going to look good in my um, in my head. I hope. Uh, let me say, hey, 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 Linda. So um, I posted the link over um, on Facebook to uh, Linda's uh, uh, Etsy shop that has the file. Uh, it will also be listed in the description below if you guys want to just hang out and then shop later. That's cool. Uh, I will also have a link to everything that I'm using today. I'm also going to try a new technique that um, Ashley Mears told me about last night. Um, instead of using Mod Podge to, you know, the devil's glue, the one that I cannot stand, um, we're going to be using acrylic paint to adhere our glitter to the cup. So she told me that if I do that, I will only have to use, do one layer of glitter, which girl, you have me at one layer because I don't like to do two layers of anything. Um, so super, super, super easy. Hey guys, if I missed everybody, hey, 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 um, so I have already cut my file. Um, you can see you can see the little squares in there, not the black squares, but under here. Um, this is my transfer paper that I use. I love this stuff. I think it's from Craftopia or something on Amazon. This is like the best. Hello, the best. Um, in my opinion, my favorite transfer tape. Uh, I usually have um, a little thing over here that I keep extra pieces because I just reuse it over and over and over because I'm cheap. I've said that a hundred times. So if I'll, if I pull this off, um, I'll put it to the side and I can just reuse it because I don't cut decals a lot because I hate them. But so this lasts me a long time, but I love this. Um, I get, like I said, I get this on Amazon. There might be other places to get this as well, but this is where I got mine. Um, the cup that we will be using today, good morning, um, is the uh, 25 ounce uh, duo straight skinny tumbler. Um, Linda has a few different um, patterns and cup styles on her, um, on her page, on her site, in her store, excuse me. So just look for whatever cup that you have and make sure you buy in the right file. But pro tip, this is not a pro tip because I'm not a pro. Uh, it doesn't matter if it doesn't line up perfectly because mine didn't last night and you can't even tell. 
Okay, so I mucked up last night's file all together and you can't even tell where the mess up is. That's how easy peasy this is. Okay, so, um, okay, good. So she said that she has 20s and skinnies now and is adding the fatties today. So I don't know if you guys have seen this, this cup from Hog, um, but it's kind of beautiful. So we all like those straight sided cups, right? I'm just going to show you this cup. I already have one prepped over here, um, which we're going to be using. But so these are like their, her like Hydra Sport. These fit the other um, lids too, which come in the box as well. But I don't, uh, I don't know where it's at. So you can use this as a regular cup with the lid. If I knew where the lid was, I would show you. Or you could use them as a Hydra Sport bottle. So um, and I really like these because, um, let me figure out which way to put the straw in there. Oh, get in there. Whatever. It goes in here, ba -bum, and then down like here. But these have um, the rubber bitey part thing. I don't know what it's called. Thingamajobber. Uh, and it's got like this little handle thing. So you can like hold it in your hand like this. It's a screw top, so that's really cool. Everybody likes a screw top. But, so you can carry it like this. I really like that. So this is the cup that we're going to be using today. I love it. The 25-ounce Duo Straight Skinny Tumbler from Hog. okay? Yeah, so it does, but see, I like that, Linda, because the other ones that I have, the lid flops, I mean, the straw flops off really easily, and so I have to, I, when I took the other one that I made on vacation um, from another vendor, and the straw always came off, so I had to open it, put the straw back on a lot, and it was just a pain in the butt. Hey, 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 hey. Um, yes, uh, Linda, you can put your link to your store right here. I'm going to have it in the description, um, but she can link it right now. Um, and then if you use the code MNG rocks, all capital letters, M N G, Mr. Nola's glitter rocks all together. It'll save you 15%. Um, yes. And I will link, I will link where I get my cups from too. They're from, um, stainless steel depot hogs. They're hogs. Irene's awesome over there. Um, and she's got like tons and tons and tons of, of different cups. Okay. So first things first. I already have my pattern, um, my um, template cut. I already have my transfer tape. My cup has already been spray painted. This has been, look, y'all, I suck at spray painting. Just saying. Um, and it doesn't even matter. I just, it's been sanded and spray painted. So it's all ready to go. This was spray painted a few days ago. That is another tip. Make sure your cup is dry. I spray painted my cup yesterday and even last night it wasn't dry. So when I lifted up the vinyl, it was pulling the paint off and it was really ticking me off. So spray paint your cup, pre-spray paint it, let it dry for a couple days and then come back. Okay. All right. So I think that's it. Oh, so I will be using also um, Arteza, 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 uh, their premium paint today. Um, instead of Mod Podge, because I heard that is like the thing to do. So I'm going to first find some, um, oranges, orange. So this is orange yellow. I'm going to be using, I think that's close to tiger's eye. And then maybe Naples yellow, uh, funky pirate. That's good. And then I'll need a black. So this is a cool box. This has, this box has 60 tubes in it. Um, and there's like literally every color that you can possibly think of in this box. So I'm really, I'm really excited to finally get to use this. I've had it for a little while. Mars Black. So I'll be using Mars Black for uh, the black. Um, the orange vinyl is just regular um, 630, uh, 651, 651. Regular vinyl. I don't have the um, the um, temp, uh, temporary vinyl or whatever, so I'm just using regular vinyl and um, 651. So this is Oracle 651. Uh, it was just the ugly, uh, an ugly color that I don't mean ugly if yellow is your thing, uh, but it's just something that I would no, normally not use, and it was something that I had a sheet of. Most everything else I have is specialty vinyl, so I didn't want to use this. Um, 
So um, this is uh, just regular plain Jane vinyl. So the first thing you're going to do is cut your pattern out. Oh, I just dropped something on the floor. So you're going to cut your pattern out of regular vinyl with whatever cutting machine you have. I have a silhouette. Um, then you're going to cut all the way around. Um, and it's going to look like this. Of course, this doesn't look straight because my transfer tape was wonky and don't look at that. Hey, guys. Um, yeah. So. Whew. Sandpaper or Brillo pad. When you use sandpaper or Brillo pad. I use these little sanding blocks when I sand my cups. I get them a big pack of them on Amazon, um, like 12 or 15 to a pack. And I just sand the, the shiny part of my tumbler before I spray paint it. What's on my shirt? Um, it's a skull. I'm feeling very spooky today. Spooky. So I figured I'd go with the whole Halloween vibe. Spooky. Hi, Sharon. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the back off of this. We're going to jump on in. We got a lot of people on here. So um, you find your weeding pin, which you left at home on your TV stand in front of your TV. Um, or you take a, a, um, no, wait, no, that's not what you do. Whoop, stop. Don't do that. Um, you get some painter's tape and you're going to wrap this around your cup. So you're going to trim it to where it fits perfectly on your cup like this. So if you notice, I've trimmed all the excess, the top and the excess from the bottom. So this is a perfect fit. Um, Linda's templates are pretty spot on even when you mess them up they work so you're going to take a piece of painter's tape you're going to take two pieces um bra brie um this one i don't think this was a sticker if it was i left it on there i don't know if it was a sticker or not i'll have to look so what you're going to do is you're going to wrap this loosely around your cup so you line it up perfectly and you're going to take this first spot and you're going to tape it here because this is where you want it to stay right here. And then you're going to take the bottom one and do the same thing right here. If you really want to be really good about it, you can take another little piece because this is what I struggled with last night um, and then put it right here. But you don't really have to worry about that because the first one you're going to pull off is this. All right. So don't do that. We're working together. All right. So then you're going to. So this is. So then whenever you pull it all off, it wraps up perfectly. It'll line up perfectly. OK. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to pull off a little corner of this. There could be more technical ways I could teach you how to do this. But I mean. Honestly, are you here for technical? Whoa, wait a minute. Are you here? What I didn't do is I didn't rub this thing. Are you here for the technical aspect or just for the fun stuff, right? Because there's probably a whole bunch of technical things you should probably be doing. Um, it is, um, hey, Dorley, um, LRB Creates on Etsy. So um, she's going to link. What the, what the what? All right. All right, mister. Why is it sticking? Okay, there we go. So you're just going to pull a little bit off right here, and you're going to cut just this little bit. You're not going to cut it all. Just this little spot. And this is going to get us started. Or rip it, whatever you want to do. I don't care. Okay. Yeah, right. I mean, we're not technical, right? All right. So then this is going to be the first place that you wrap your cup. So um, look at that. Bam. So you have your first layer down. So now you can untape the other end. Hi, Vicki. All right. So we're taking off this tape. This is the hardest part of doing this cup, y'all. And this is not even hard. All right. So then you will just take the rest. 
and you will slowly wrap your whole cup with the vinyl. You don't have to worry about the bubbles, whatever, because it's not staying on there. So it's not like you have to have it perfectly. Whoa, get back up there, sucker. Whoop, whoop. You don't have to have it um, perfectly no bubbles because it's not it's not staying on the cup. You're just using it as a, um, a template. There we go. Don't be messing with me. Let me make sure to rub this the rest of this down. The squares are only going to be on there until you get the glitter on it. Okay. Yes. Ella, Ella B creates shop. Um, the, the link will be in the description when we get done. Or if somebody wants to link it here, I'm totally fine with that. All right, sucker, don't be messing with me. All right, and then... Okie dokie, pokey. Doesn't matter if you got bubbles in your vinyl. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. This is only going to be there until you rip it off and put some glitter on it. So don't stress. And last... Y'all know that vinyl has to stick to the back of this. All right, cool. We're done with this stupid paper. All right. So then you're just going to lay it. Bam. This doesn't look like it matches up because my transfer paper looks, my transfer paper is wonky. But when I pull this off, you will see that this perfectly matches. This whole thing matches. So um, if you have your vinyl, you're going to get this template, this um, this little cutout that you're going to cut with vinyl so you can wrap it around your cup to create the plaid. All right. So then the next hardest thing you're going to do is pull the transfer tape from the top of your vinyl. It's all right. It is going to be a pain in the butt for a minute. But I promise you, it's going to be worth it. And we're going to be easy breezy. And we're going to be living our best plaid life in just a second. Okay. This transfer tape is super mega sticky. Okay. So maybe I should have used a less stickier transfer tape. But whatever. We're too far now. We can't turn back. Again, you don't have to worry about these um, squares being perfect with no bubbles because it's only there temporary. You're going to throw everything that's on this cup away. Yeah, this is super sticky transfer paper. There's my little excess that I didn't trim too close because I didn't want to trim my squares close. much for me saving this big old honk. Wait a minute. I can still save it. I can still save it. Bam, bam, bam. Booyah! Alright, so I'm putting that over there. I mean, you can't get any more perfect than that. That's a perfect, that's perfectly lined up. What are you focusing on? Get that away. I mean, that's perfectly lined up. You can't get any better than that. Well, this bottom part look, um, turned over, but yeah. So there you go. So let me get my piece of paper that I printed. <laughs> Easy breezy, right? I mean, the hardest part was getting the transfer tape off. Um, Brie, I get it from Amazon. I'll have a link in the description. I think it's, 
expressions vinyl or something like that maybe or be i don't know exactly the name of it so there you go so you have your whole cup wrapped we're done right Whew. lord that was a lot okay so this is a little picture that i copy okay so this is just basically going to tell you um what colors go where so in my mind this is what we're going to do the red on here is going to be funky pirate, right? The black, of course, is going to be the black. And then this darker color is going to be tiger's eye. So if you want to do that, you can. Um, but so all of the red squares will be funky pirate. All of the um, in between squares will be tiger eye. And then the black, of course, will be desire. So. Um, this is where I do need um, a weeding pin. Let me go grab one off of the shelf. I need a weeding pin. Right there. Yep, got it. Thank you. Welcome. Thanks. Oopsie. All right. All right, so I left my weeding pin at home, so I had to go grab one. All right. All right, cool. So you're going to need a weeding pen or something pokey or something like that because that is really going to, all right, what are you focusing on? That's really going to help you with this next step. All right, so I have my paint palette, aka my fancy paper plate. I have a brush, which is about, um, what are these? What size is this? Um, three quarters of an inch. This is a three quarter of an inch brush. Hi, Vanessa. Um, I have my three glitters that we're using and then my three colored paints, which is um, from Arteza, the orange yellow, whoopsie, uh, Mars black and Naples yellow. I hope that's going to work. So the first one I'm going to start with is the Funky Pirate. So that's going to be the Naples yellow. So I just find where I'm going to start. If you have any um, excess vinyl at the top, you can pull it off. You're supposed to trim it like really close to the pattern, but I was, I can't cut a straight line over a straight line. So I left a little bit on there. All right. So we're going to start anywhere. Find a square and start. Okay. Look at that. This is your template for your Don't worry about that. So the first line, if you can see this, is every other color is going to be that lighter color, right? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm pulling off this first line with every other square. Thanks. Hey, Michelle, how are you? Okay, so... Every other square, right? <clears throat> I'm going to open my paint. Ew. That'll work. Squeeze a little bit out. Um, let me get a cup holder, Chucky. Let me get a cup chuck. Wherever. Where's my cup chuck? Right there. This is my... Um, up chuck that goes on my turner so I have something to hold on to we are great Michelle all right so oh and I need one more thing oh goodness gracious run, 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 run. just need a piece of I use um, scrapbook paper as my catch-all when I'm working with glitter so I just Random scrapbook paper. I bought out a scrapbook store years ago and I have literally five mazillion trillion, I don't want the pattern, um, pieces of scrapbook paper. So they get used in all kinds of things. All right. So all we're going to do is we're going to paint our squares or you can paint or you can use, that's way too much paint. You can use the Mod Podge if you would like. And this does not have to be perfect, guys, because 
literally it corrects itself. Everything fixes itself with this um, template. Everything is fixable uh, and it's super easy. Even if you're um, sloppy like me, <clears throat> it's super easy to do. Okay. So all I'm doing is using the acrylic paint as my mood pooch, right? Move that out of the way. Take my funky pirate. Wet spray paint. Well, that would mean I would have to go out and spray. So I would take my, you know, not, you guys know I love these big um, chip brushes. Let me see if I'm getting the coverage. I might have to change that paint. I might not. We'll see. This is the first time I'm using the acrylic paint. We're testing it together, yo. Okay. All right. So I will set that for a second. I will put my glitter back in. And then we'll just go. We'll continue to do all of these squares. And then by the time we get to the bottom, yes, one coat. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, Funky Pirate is gorgeous, y'all. Y'all have got to get that. This is the orangiest, um, like not super mega orange, but it's so sparkly. Um, so then I'll just take this little brush and I don't want to touch where I just painted because it's not dry, but I'll just brush it lightly brush my things down so if we're looking at this um, you would skip one and then the next one would be red so I'm going to skip this block and then the next one or not red or your your main color so there we go so if you wanted to you could totally sit here and remove all of your squares that are going to be the same color, which that's what I'll do now. But I just needed something. I just wanted to start that first row. So I had my, my eyes had something to follow a pattern with. Y'all, this is the simplest way. I've never made a plaid before. And that purple one was my first one. And um, I was even impressed with myself. Plaid is not normally something that I like. But... It is super popular. Um, it's super popular right now, especially being fall and all that. So Christmas time, it's a really big, uh, it's really popular pattern as well. This, especially this red and black is really popular. So I think um, I'm going to put a coat of epoxy on the purple one and then uh, finish it out with some pinstripes. I just got to add a little bit of, some juice, some juice. I got to juice it up a little bit because um, I like it, but I want it to, I want it to be something a little different than normal plaid. What's the name of the glitter again? Um, uh, it's called uh, the, it's called Funky Pirate. Funky Pirate. All right, so I will do all of these squares um, and then we will be done with this color and then we can move on to the other color. So we're just going to hang out and talk and paint and all that. So this is super relaxing. It's not stressful at all. At least I don't think it is. You guys can see. I did this watching a movie last night or a show with Mr. Nola. It doesn't take a lot of attention to do it. You can come back to it. Your vinyl is going to be okay on here. Even if you use permanent vinyl, as long as you don't leave it a few days, you'll be good. What I will do is I will sprinkle in between painting. I won't do them all because 
acrylic paint does dry faster than the devil's glue. So I'll do a couple squares and then go. Uh, Melissa, yes, um, I used a template um, from my friend Linda that is um, LRB Creates on Etsy. She has a few different templates. I don't know. You've probably if you're on TikTok, you've seen her cups. I mean, it's hard not to see her cups. Her cups are freaking amazing, um, and she creates these uh, these templates. So um, I have never really been interested in the buffalo plaid or the plaid or whatever and after seeing some of the stuff that she does i'm like girl i guess i'm gonna try and i tried it last night and i was blown away so um you've probably seen if you go find her on tiktok i know you've seen her cups on tiktok because they are amazing so everybody knows her work i'm almost positive she's cr it's she's crazy talented so she created this template um, and she has a bunch, she has a few other ones for different size cups and you just wrap it on there. You pull the squares off and you go boom, 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 boom. Um, and you got a plaid. Easy breezy plaid. I see now I've got way too much paint on my plate, which I'm kind of impressed with this paint uh, because it is kind of thick. I'm in love. So I was like, these little tubes ain't going to go very far. I think I'm very wrong about that. I think these little tubes will go a lot far. I think they will go further than I thought. Um, the paint is um, Arteza. It is. It's um, the acrylic. It's a 60 pack. Um, I got it on sale. They always have sales. I'll link you in the description. Um, whenever I get done, I'll have a link to everything that I used. So if you just want to hang out and then shop uh, in a little while, you can. But we'll have a link to everything in the description. Uh, if you if you decide to pick up any of the products that we have, we do have some affiliate links. Um, and then I have a coupon code if you want to pick up the uh, the um, the vinyl template for the plaid from Linda's um, Etsy shop. She so graciously gave us a coupon code. Um, Tiffany, so um, my friend Ashley last night told me that if you use acrylic paint instead of Mod Podge, you only have to do one layer of glitter because you have a, a color underneath it. So it's not like um, it kind of fills in the gaps. So it kind of helps you on your way. So you're not layer after layer after layer. And so far, I'm a fan. I have to say. So far, I'm sold. And it dries quicker than Mod Podge as well. So that's something that's good. So that's why I'm only doing a couple squares at a time. And this does not have to be perfect, y'all. This is not a um this is not a perfection type of project you don't have to be perfect when it's all said and done it all goes together i had so many mistakes on the black and purple one so uh and you can't even tell so if you refresh if you refresh the video this all the links should be in the description now i have some great help that helps me And it is Popcorn Friday, so any of the locals that are um, looking for something to do, stop by the store today and get some popcorn. Um, Brittany, there, yes. So there is. It just takes a. It just takes a little bit of finesse. Um, you just have to um, have a really good template that is warped, and um, I 
don't know how to do that all the way. So that's why I leave that part up to a professional, AKA Linda. Um, she's warped each one of these files to fit those specific cups. So this one is, this one I did last night is not totally straight, um, but it worked. It worked, it went on like butter. So it was a per, it was perfect. All right, so. Not me, Jennifer, I did not. Can you? Can you please the cup chuck? Oh, this is the chucks that go with my turner. Um, so my turners are the Bowen turners, and this is just a chuck that goes on um, by them for my turner. So we will have that in the description below as well. I really don't want to wash this brush. So that little scooch of paint was a lot. So hmm, just FYI. So I'm going to let this. Oh, that popcorn smells delicious. Yeah, you can use any acrylic paint. This is just what I had laying around and I wanted to try it. So yeah, anything. Yeah, so this, y'all, I'm going to tell you, I'll show a picture and on Facebook. So I didn't, I wasn't able to get, I cut my, when I tell you I can't cut a straight file, straight line over a straight line, I cut a little bit of my, um, my first template last night off. So I had like a big gaping hole um, where they met. Um, but I'll give you a dollar if you can find it on this cup. Even if it's not perfectly on the cup, you get it. The results are perfect. So this is full that the template is pretty much foolproof. If I can do it, you can do it. Oh, Michelle, you don't look. I am such a bad brush mom. Like, I just can't. I would just rather buy new brushes. Is that horrible? Is it horrible? <laughs> if I made a cup, I'd... Girl, no. I want you to make a cup like me. I want to see those cups. It is... I am not that person. Um, I don't own any of the ideas that I do. I'm pretty sure somebody before me has done it um, before me and probably better than me most of the time a lot of the time better than me. So um, I want you to create, if you see something that I make and you want to make it, it is, it, it makes my heart happy to see you guys make something I make. So by all means, girl, knock yourself out and do it. All right. I want to see it. Tag me, whatever. I want, I want y'all to do whatever inspires you. And sometimes being inspired is meaning seeing other people's ideas. Um, you know, some people might get all up in their feels about it, but I'm not. If you see something I make and you're like, that's pretty, I want to do it. Please do it, please. So this is our first color. I'm kind of okay with um, the coverage. Um, I think it's okay. I'm happy. I'm not going to do two coats because I'm lazy. I think I've mentioned that a hundred times before. I'm lazy, right? I'm super lazy. <sighs> oh no, I am I am such a bad brush mom. Um, it's MNG Rocks. Let's see if I can write it on this little piece of paper. Let me see if I'm fancy enough to write it upside down and backwards. Let's see. I don't know, does that come out right? <laughs> Can y'all see that? I mean, nope. I need to do it on this side. Um, right here. I didn't say I was smart. How about that? MNG rocks. Can y'all see that? Um, Pumpkin Queen, yes. I know that she has some um, fatties in the work. Those are a little harder to create because um, there is such a curve. But by all means, if there's something that um, you have that you would love a template for, I'm sure if you send her like a little message on Etsy, she would love to be able to do that for you guys. Yeah, this is super easy. All right, we're moving on. We're going to the next. So I got my little thing here, right? So the next color we were going to do is Tiger Eye. 
So that's going to be these little darker patches. So on my cup, it is the one directly next to the Funky Pirate. Oopsie, don't do that. Don't do that. So all you have to do is... This is where my paint was messed up, so that's why it's kind of funky right there. Is I'm going to take off my next squares and move along. Yikes. I'm so sorry. That has to be scary. I know we live in the South and we have um, hurricanes and all that. Um, we kind of can, for the most part, I guess, prepare for a hurricane I mean, except these crazy ones that have been out there now. I couldn't imagine. Um, I've lost my house to a fire before, and it's something that you never recover from. And I'm really sorry to hear that. Oops. Hang in there, girl. It gets better. All right. Bam. So this is where my next color will go. And then it also goes right under it. So first I'm going to do this one line because my, I need, my eyeball needs an, a visual. MNG Rocks is the coupon code to use to save 15% off your template. If you, um, if you check out, if you go check, uh, if you want to buy the um, template that I'm using to create the plaid. Yeah, I'm totally not washing that brush. So, I don't think I need this one might need a little bit more. I'm probably, that's probably too much too. So, oops. Oh, 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 oh. All right. All right, do not get paint all over you. All right, all right. And then moving on to the next square. This paint, I love this paint, man. All right. Ooh, look at that, look at that. Almost like candy corn. Well, not on this, not on my shirt. I just found this shirt. So it's been fun finding things in my closet that didn't fit me before. Now that fit me. Uh, and it's like shopping almost. So I found this today. I was like, oh, it's kind of early for Halloween, but it fit perfectly with my Halloween tumbler that I was making today. So I was like, oh, I'll dress the part. All right. Oh, my God. And I've like touched that paint a hundred times. Okay. Oh, see, it's like everywhere. I don't know what I've done. All right. So then I will try not to get any more paint on me. Lightly brush down that second line. So then I can start picking. Then I can see where I'm going. So normally you would do, um, so this would be, this where I do this, let me see. So where I've done the dark orange here is where you would mix your two glitters together if you were doing like a traditional um, plaid. But I really wanted more contrast. This was like a, the purple was a subtle contrast. I wanted like a banging. Um, hey, Melissa. Thank you, Kenna. Um, I had, um, 10 years ago, I had a weight loss surgery that, um, failed. Um, and so last year, wait, last, the end of last year, uh, I finally had the courage to go get it corrected. So, um, I wish I could tell you it was diet and exercise, um, uh, but it was something equally as hard. Um, so funky pirate. 
So right under here. So now I'm going to pull off just like I did the other ones. I'm just going to go through and pull off all of the boxes that need this dark under it. Bam. All right. So I know that every other one here is the dark. So I'll go ahead and pull these off. Bam. Hey, Phyllis. Wow, Samantha, that's great. All right. Oops. This is so fun. I'm watching Rachel while crafting myself. No glitter today, though. Making Animal Crossing cake toppers for my kids. <gasps> Animal Crossing! Oh, I love Animal Crossing! I really would love to see your cake toppers. Anybody else play Animal Crossing? Um, I don't know. Um, I don't, I don't have the answer to that. Probably not because this is made specifically for this cup. So it is the exact size of this cup. Um, so if you scaled it down, it wouldn't fit the cup. All right. So all of those are supposed to be dark. Um, awesome. Um, so now this. And then everyone in between those. And then everyone in between here too. So this, okay, my eyeballs is trying to do it. Wait, I missed some. Oh, no, no. So everyone in between here as well. Ooh, let me do this one line before I mess it up. Before I screw it up, let me do it. Oh, goodness. Where are you located that don't have power? Are you in Florida? I know I have some friends that were um, in uh, Louisiana still that had were out power from the first storm that ripped through there. Let's see, my paint might be getting too dry. I hope not. Yeah, I might break something if I think too hard. So I'm going to just do this one line and see if my eyes can focus on it. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, so that mine mine usually does too. Someone says their their brain doesn't work; it works backwards, and it's hard to look at patterns. So that's why I had to print out that little piece of paper. Um, the other one I actually wrote on every single square, so I could see it. But I was like, I'm a big girl; I don't have to write on every square. Clearly, if you have to write on every square, write on every square. It's okay. I just didn't want to take the time. I think I've told y'all this before, but I'm a lazy crafter. All right, so there. I hope this comes out right. The pattern isn't right. Do the black next. Do the black next, then you know left over or this. I probably have to write on every square. Rachel, Flurry, can we be friends? Square, you're right. Um, hi, Sarah. So the pattern isn't right. Club 504 in the house. Um, wait, what? What? 
I don't know who that is. I can't answer the phone. Cannot answer the phone. Wait, what? What do you mean it's not right? Why isn't it right? Funky Pirate. Tiger's Eye. Tiger's Eye. And Black. It's right. Ew. Ew. I think it's right. Oh, Y'all scare me. Way to scare a girl. Um, yes, Laura, we sell these. Um, it's a weeding tool. You can pick it up in our shop. I think it's like six bucks. Mr. At Mr. Knowles Glitter .com. It's right. It just looks weird because it's yellow right now. I promise. It's right. Y'all give a girl a heart attack. All right. So I'm brushing my excess off. All right. So that will be black and this will be. Okay. Got it. I know where I'm at. Whew. Dark is touching all four corners. Yes, yes, yes. That is that is right. Yep. So it's here. Here. Y'all know how to give a girl a heart attack. Woo. And here. All right. And then it would be here. All right. Now I see it. I see my pattern. My eyeballs is focused now. Right here. Right here. And then here. Here. Ow. Be careful. It's very pointy. It will stab you. Um, Christmas, like red and green, or do you want like traditional uh, buffalo plaid? Someone said, I want to do this for Christmas. What colors should would you recommend? So I just want to know, do you want traditional buffalo plaid like Christmas, or do you want like red and green Christmas? I wonder how using contact paper would work cut um, instead of vinyl. I'm so cheap. I think it would work fine as long as you can get it to stick to your cup. I would have never used this color vinyl. So this was just something in my arsenal that I'm like, eh, it's all right. All right. So let me um, pick up this glitter and put it back in my little container. And then we will blow through these dark ones. And then we can move on to the, the last color that really like brings it all together. Okay. I was like, I'm not going to get covered in glitter today. Clearly. Clearly. Um, well, y'all. Okay, so let me just tell y'all. I don't like fall. I don't like, I am not, um, I'm not a pumpkin spice girl. Um, it, the last fall cup I did liked to kill me. Because it's just not my jam. Like, I'm like Halloween. But fall, we don't really have fall here. We don't have orange leaves changing and like fall colors and all that snazzy jazzy stuff. Um, it's just another layer of, we just have like less hot here. So I'm not a fall fan. So I think I'm just going to stick to black. I know y'all want to see brown, but I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I'm so not that basic pumpkin spice latte, whatever, girl. I like spooky stuff and pumpkins and stuff like that, but I don't know. So y'all going to be mad if I don't do brown because I really want to do black. My favorite season is beach season. I like to be at the beach. So I like hot but I don't like um, the devil's 
booty hole hot like Louisiana is. I want to be hot but tropical. Does that make sense? I want the sun to be on me, but I also want a cool breeze. I don't do snow at all, at all. Um, my sister is the snow bunny. My mom lives up north and she like lives for snow. I cannot stand it. That stuff is gross. It's cold and it's not as pretty as they say it is. It turns brown. So I don't like snow. Um, So, yeah, I would have to say beach. Beach is my favorite season, whatever whatever season you want to fit that in. So, if you in the Caribbean, it's any time of the year. So, that's why um, I like to travel to the Caribbean because it doesn't matter what type of what time of year it is. You always get that same tropical, I'm on a beach feel. So, my favorite season is Caribbean. Um, if you put black on there, I have a hundred bucks for you. Francis, stop now. This is not going to be your, 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 um, your, your cut, your sports ball team cup. But I mean, it could be. Maybe. I mean, I'm not opposed to a hundred dollars. Um, Dawn and Facebook, there's a link to the Etsy shop. Um, your favorite, your favorite seasons are fall and winter. Um, now I like, um, I like Christmas decorations, not traditional decorations, but like the colored, like all the crazy colors and stuff. But I don't know. I just, oh, I'm weird, I guess. Um, I'm going to use desire. Um, this is what sh that should say, but I don't have, for some reason, it's not labeled. Uh, it is the same size cut as these. So I figured um, I wanted to stick with that same size cut. And it's one of the blacks that stay sparkly under epoxy. Epoxy. I guess I am, man, I have like touched every single part of my body in this paint already. I can't even. So normally when you're doing multiple colors on a cup, you want to go lightest to dark. So that way your dark uh, glitter doesn't muddy up your light colors. I mean... You want to go dark to light. But because my brain doesn't think that way. I did it totally opposite. But in this case, I don't think it matters because it kind of blends it all together. You'll see. This is a three quarter inch brush. Um, wait. Yeah, three quarters, three quarters of an inch. Wait. It's not a full inch. It's three quarters of an inch. So it's better to use paint rather than Mod Podge or glue to apply glitter. Um, Hope, this is my first time using it. And I have to say that I am a fan. Um, it's your preference. I hate Mod Podge <clears throat> with a, with a fiery passion. So um, my friend Ashley said that she uses acrylic paint to adhere her glitter uh, because it gives it like a, um, a base coat or whatever. And I'm impressed, I'll have to say. So it's just a personal preference. This was the first time I'm trying it. And I mean, I ain't mad about it. I like it.
I wish y'all could, I wish we had smell o vision and y'all could smell the popcorn in the store. It smells so good. I love popcorn. We're almost to the home stretch where you can see um, see it all come together. So thank you for bearing with me. It's a little tedious. It's not um, it's not something you can do in a few minutes, but it's super easy with this template. It takes all the guesswork out of it and no measuring. The hardest part was getting the transfer paper off. I'm a transplant from New York where we saw seasons to Texas where it's hot, hot, ice, maybe then hot again. Samantha, yes, that's pretty much how it is here without the ice. We don't have ice or whatever, but um, it's just a different, um, just a pit. It's just a different layer of hot. It's like hot or less hot, but still, oh, don't touch that. Whoops. Okay. Don't be overzealous and brush your freaking paint off. Be patient, young grasshopper. Be patient, young grasshopper. Boom, boom, boom. I do love how thick this paint is, though. I'm super loving it. Yeah, somebody somebody said that um, I'm freehand. Y'all, that is not perfect squares at all. This does not have to be perfect. This is a technique that imperfections are not going to show. It's not perfect by all means. By all means, it is not perfect. My hands are not very steady. I'm trying to show it at a decent angle. This kind of looks like candy corn. And if I see it got it over a little bit, I just swipe it, swipe it a little bit. Miss Rachel, what do you do with the bottom? Do you glitter it or do you leave it as is? Um, on the black one, I left it as is because I think I'm going to um, uh, spray paint it and do some sort of peekaboo type deal on it. This, um, I probably will glitter it. Probably, maybe, who knows? I think. Uh, good question. An opal color would look good as the last color, too. Oh, yeah, over the orange. So I'm just taking a smaller brush because that other one's kind of big to clean off my last little spots down here so I can get my last color on here. And then we can let it rest for a few minutes while we do some cleanup, and then we'll move on to the black. That's a good question. I don't know what I'm going to do with the bottom now that you say it. Watch, I have to bring that to my attention. Um, no, it's just acrylic paint. Just orange acrylic paint. I'm using it as adhesive instead of Mod Podge. One more square. All 
right. All right, so I'm going to set this to the side for a half a second and let me clean up this mess that I got. And I'm going to have to go wash this brush. Don't forget your bottoms. I just glittered my bottom with my mid color. So that would be this color, right? All right, so that's going to have to think about what it's done. All right. Um, um, okay, well, let's see. Let's don't forget your bottom. Let me make sure I got plenty of paint down here. So, oh, I'm not even on screen. Sorry. So, all right. So, I've just painted it with this color and bam. So, that's what we're going to do with the bottom. We are going to glitter it. Yes. Where's the scissors or something equally? All right. So, I'm going to set this to the side. See, now we have a glittered bottom. We will just fix any other mistakes when we go. We're going to let it set for just a few minutes. Don't fall over. Please don't fall over. Um, I'm going to put this glitter up. I'm going to let that dry for a second. I'm going to rinse my brush. And then we're going to come back for the finale. Who's ready for the finale to like really tie this sucker together? So much for not being glittery today. Sorry. All right. Cool. Right. Um, let's see. My kiddo just looked over at my screen from her Zoom class and said the plaid design could be used on several Demon Slayer character themes. A lot of them wear plaid or checkered patterns. Rachel, did I hear you say you're going to have to wash your brush? Yes, because I can't be mixing the black with that. That's just gross. How many bags of each color do you think you use on a plaid tumbler? Um, Beth, uh, hardly any at all. Um, like, it it doesn't take a lot of glitter. Like, you can do several, several, like, I don't know how many bags. I mean, how many cups you could do with one bag. Um, Miss Rachel, I don't think that you could ever not be glittery. I know, right? Um, no, I do not mean brown. I mean black. Harry Potter color combos would be cool too. Yes. What size is that brush you used? It's three quarters of an inch. Let me go wash it really quick. Um, these are the colors that I used so far. Oops. Where's the lid to this one? <laughs> yes. So um, these are the these are the glitters that I've used, and um, the template is from um, Ella B Creates on Etsy. And somebody can link her real quick and let me wash this brush really fast. No paper towels. All right. Let's see. All righty. Look, wash the brush. Wash the brush. Yes. 
Yeah, make sure you use the coupon code MNG Rocks and it'll save you 15% on your templates. She has a few other ones, so check them out and um, favorite her shop because she's going to be adding some more. She's like crazy good with those templates, y'all. She has like, she thinks like way outside the box, which helps some of us that don't. Oh, wait, don't get paint on that. Um, all right, so let's clean up some a little bit of mess here clean brush look at that somebody take a picture of that because that doesn't always happen i'm gonna throw this away because i'm tired of touching it maybe it'll save me from getting paint on my pretty shirt um that tangigram is awesome but i'm super intimidated by it i'm gonna do it but i'm super intimidated by it hi leslie All my favorite people are online. All right. So now let's see. I don't know if it's dry. A few more minutes. A few more minutes and we're going to dry brush and then we're going to go in for the kill. Wow. Cool. So while, while we're waiting for paint dry, um, if you are a first time viewer, thank you so much. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Make sure you hit the bell so you are alerted anytime that we go live. Um, if you haven't already, find us on Facebook, Instagram, wherever you can find us. We're kind of like everywhere. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, with the big floofer, I use this. This is, this is my favorite dry brusher, except you have to wait till it's actually dry or you'll get paint in it. Um, so yeah, we have, um, if you haven't checked out our website, it's mrnolasglitter.com. We've totally revamped it and it's super fancy. She got a makeover and she's so pretty. Um, we have all of our pictures that were retaken. So if you've already looked, but you are in for another little pee 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 pee, go over there and look at all the new pictures. I promise you you'll fall in love with something else again. Um, let's see. What was the question? Um, burp, 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 burp. Tangiogram is kind of like, um, like a Chevron, but not like, but blocked, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know. Yes, um, I will. It's called the Bowen, B-O-A-N-L-L-C. It stands for the back of a napkin. I will link it. Um, but until if you want to look that up, you can do that there on Facebook. I think they're on Etsy as well. Um, yeah. When does the box go on sale? What box? The Wonderlust box? What? Is that what we're talking about? The Wonderlust box? I had to create a YouTube channel to post a comment. Have to go learn about that. <laughs> um, my first order from you guys is on the way. Well, thank you so much. Um, so the Wonderlust box went on sale on the, I don't know what day it was. Um, we will, they will ship this, October's will ship <clears throat> the last day of September. And then we will have a few extra boxes left over from this month. And then we'll put next month's on sale. So, um, yeah. I'm super excited. I'm super, super excited. This black. Um, no, I don't want to be frozen. No, 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 no. I don't want to be frozen. No, 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 no frozen, no frozen, no frozen, no frozen. Fix it. Lord, fix it. Oh, good grief. Y'all give me a heart attack. Okay, I'm back. All right. So now we are just going, the rest is black. Wait, yes. So we're just going to peel off these and we're going to go in with black and then then we have our plaid, okay? Home stretch, guys. Home stretch. We can do it. We can do it. I'm going to go ahead and pull all of these squares. What time is it? Oh, lunchtime. No wonder I'm hungry. Okay. Since this is the last color, I'm just going to pull all the squares so we can just, we can paint and glitter and go. Okay. 
these little picking tools are this little weeding pin is a must. Oh goodness. All right. Well, y'all come on back in. Bam. So I hope the black ties it all together. Right? I hope it's not too much contrast. I don't think it will be though. It's just hard to see with because I spray painted it orange. So it's kind of throwing off a weird little look. Oh, no, 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 no. That wasn't all the way dry, so don't do that, okay? Is there a chunky match to tiger eye? I don't think so. I don't have one. I have a holographic chunky mix, but not just a regular. I'll add that to the list of things. There are a few places that I'm missing some things. Uh, oranges and yellows are somewhere that I'm missing a lot of colors. So I plan on um, adding those colors in the catalog. White would totally make it candy corn. Yeah, it would. Do. I don't like candy corn. I just like the look of candy corn. I think candy corn is adorable. It's not, it's not edible to me, but it's adorable. The end of the red line on the feed. Okay. All right, so now we add the black. Black glitter. Now, I might take just a little bit longer to do this because I really want it to be full coverage on this black. Oh, I think it's going to be cute. I mean, is, oh, yeah. Thank you. I'd have been knocked that thing all over the place. Um, like, does anybody really eat candy corn for real? I mean, it's so cute. It's definitely the cutest Halloween candy. And I like that the decorations are like candy corns and they put little faces on them. But I don't know that it's edible. I don't know that it's edible. It's super cute, though. Oh, this is cute. Candy corn and peanuts? Huh. Apple pie candy corn? Okay. I mean, I didn't know that candy corn come in flavors. I thought it was just sugar. What is candy corn flavor? Is there really a flavor to it or is it just like sugar? Now I'm intrigued. I didn't know that candy corn was a flavor. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. So there we go. Hmm. Not sure. Not sure how I feel about it, but... They have a Thanksgiving dinner candy corn. Shut up. Vanilla cream sugar-ish. Yeah, I think I, I always thought that candy corn was just like sugar. Like I didn't know that it was a flavor. Can you add a forest green color to the cat? Um, so look, we do have forest green. We have um, uh, Holly Grove. 
that's a forest green. And Muffalata is kind of uh, another forest green. Next row, next row, a dark alternative with black. Huh? What are the colors on the purple cup? The colors are Funky Pirate and Desire. And then the, the middle one is the two colors mixed together. So um, I really want to know about this uh, Thanksgiving candy corn, like Thanksgiving dinner, like turkey and stuffing. What are the colors? Um, so um, now I'm like, my mind is blown by the Thanksgiving flavored candy corn. Please don't tell me it's like turkey and gravy. That'd be gross. Speaking of gross, um, this past weekend, <clears throat> me and my sister snuck off and surprised my mom for her birthday. So we flew in. She didn't know we were coming. We flew in to Chicago. We rented a car and drove from Chicago to northern Indiana showed up on her doorstep at 11 o'clock at night. Of course, my mom's sleeping because, you know, most moms sleep at 11 o'clock at night. I'm not most moms, but most normal moms sleep at 11 o'clock at night. So we surprised her, all that. So my sister and I um, were at the store and we found the Bean Boozled game. I believe it's a, a Harry Potter something. So it's the jelly bellies um, that are in this little jar thing, and you're supposed to take you're supposed to take one out, pop it in your mouth, and you have two choices of what it could be. Ooh, I'm flinging paint everywhere. It could be something really delicious, or it could be something really gross. And then you have to um, figure out the flavor. So we played this um, with my mom and my aunt. What? Flavors include green beans, roasted turkey, cranberry socks, ginger glaze. That is disgusting. Though That sounds gross. I need to order those. Um, so we did videos of my mom and my aunt and my sister um, playing this bean boozled game. I have never laughed so hard in my whole entire life. My mom was such a good sport. Uh, my aunt was such a good sport. And we literally cracked up laughing. And it was so disgusting. Um, I had... Um, one of mine was dirty dishwater. And I don't know what they were washing in this dishwater, but it was disgusting. My mom had, I think she said she had spoiled milk. One was supposed to be birthday cake. It was not. It was like dirty drawers or something. I don't know. They were, it was highly alarming. It was disgusting, but it was so freaking funny. And I don't know, for some reason when people, I was about to tap the bottom of that. When people gag, it makes me it makes me laugh even harder. So my sister, my sister was gagging in the background, and like I don't know, I was it was it was hilarious. Um, so that is something that everyone needs to play at least once. So uh, we got it at um, Myers Mergers Myers or something. I think it's like a knockoff Target or something that's up there. I don't know, but it was friggin' hilarious. Um, it was so much fun. So if you're looking for something, I mean, it was like, I don't know, five or six dollars and you get like this little jar and it like presents one jelly bean at a time. So you can't pick which one it, has, it is. You just to be like, hmm. oh, no. Mr. Nola brought me some Chick-fil-A. Hey. Um, so it just like brings up whichever one it wants to bring up. It is hilarious. Ew, yeah, booger. Booger was one of them. 
Booger was one of them. Earwax wasn't, this was um, uh, series five. I don't know if that makes a difference, which, but it's kind of terrifying because you're like, oh my God, there's four other series of disgusting jelly beans. So it must be super popular that they've had to do it five different times. Ew, skunk. Ugh. So, um, so it's terrifying and hilarious at the same time. So if you're looking for, um, a, a, um, a cheap, fun laugh with the kid, it would be fun with kids because kids are, you know, brazen and crazy. Uh, and they'll just like put anything in their mouth. Uh, definitely get that. Or if you have some adults that are, you know, equally as crazy and fun. It was, it was so much fun. I can't believe my mom and my aunt did it, but they, um, they had a great time. I mean, at least they faked it anyways. So if any of you guys are friends on my, my personal Facebook page, I posted it. Um, I posted the video. It was hilarious. I sound like a cackling beast because I was laughing so hard because my sister was gagging. Every time she would like smell one or like, um, or somebody would say the flair, flavor, she would start gagging. It was freaking hilarious. Super funny. So see, this black went pretty easy. So the black kind of fills it out and it can, um, I'm using the black to, to cover up any mistakes that I see, which is not a whole lot. I don't know what I'm going to tap on when I get to that last one, but. I didn't do this one day. Oh, I think I love this. I think I like it. I think I'm going to like it. I'm going to have to find something. Some kind of pumpkin something or something to put on here or some candy corns or something. Maybe I'll do some kind of candy. <gasps> I'm fine. It didn't get on me. It's a black shirt. I'm good. Don't look at that. All right. One more dot and we are complete. Or square, not a dot. I'm super excited that it's only taken one, um, one coat. So the paint trick works if you don't have the patience to do this again, like me. Use the paint. I think I'm in love. Look, look, wait. Oh, my camera is jacked. Look at that. So, I mean, there's some places that I got overzealous, but, you know, that square is kind of ridiculous. Oh, but it brushes off. Okay, so it's not, it's not a permanent. It's just a, where's my brush? So it's not permanent. It's just, there we go. See, I fixed it. Um, Jack-o-lantern face with offset, maybe glowy vinyl. Yep. Black does look cool, huh? So whenever it's all dry, you will dry brush all the excess off. Don't do it too soon because you'll make a friggin' mess. All right, I'm not going to do it. But so you would dry it all off. I would, I will um, seal with hairspray because that's my jam. My bottom is glittered. It looks okay. I might um, fix a little bit more. I think once it dries, I can brush that off and it'll be okay. Um, but um, I'm not, I'm not hating on it. Some of my squares look wonky, but I am a messy crafter. So I think if the colors were more not so prominent or like um, contrasting, you wouldn't be able to see the mess ups because I'm going to show you my purple one that it did. Y'all can't even tell where I messed up on this one. See that? 
This is sealed with hairspray already. So like it's not going anywhere. I just need to do the bottom. See where that paint came up? I was really mad. Um, but so if you use colors that are more close to plaid, um, your mistakes are less noticeable. Because uh, let me tell you, this cup I made more mistakes on than I did the orange one. And you can literally not see them. Okay. You want to try something from the new ice cream shop? Oh, yes, I do, Kelsey. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Get me something cool. So um, when your colors are more um, closer to traditional plaid like this, you're less likely to see your mistakes. So this one is less of a traditional plaid like this. But what I will do tell you is this is not finished. This will get a coat of epoxy and I will pinstripe the crap out of this. And this will blow your mind when we're done. OK, so this is just the first part of this cup. I promise. Um, so if you're using more traditional colors like blending, say you were blending this lighter orange with the black to get that middle color right here you would see less mistakes because it kind of tra transitions together. Um, but like this one. So see how it kind of tra transitions together? It's more traditional plaid. I'm kind of proud of that one. I'm proud of both of them. Always be proud of your work, guys. It doesn't matter if you're the only one that likes it. Be proud of what you do because when you put your heart into it, that's all that matters. All right, guys, um, I will hop off of here. I'm not going to save this glitter because it has got a lot of colors in it. I'm not going to put it on my keyboard like I've been doing. Crap. Um, so if you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've learned something, I can't, I'm so excited. Um, when you you when you do this technique, show it off. Post it in a group. Um, be proud of it. Make it your own. Try some other colors. Try it traditional. Try it the colors I used. Try it whatever way you want to do. Um, if there's something that you that you have an idea on a template wise, I'm sure that Linda would love to hear from you. Just drop her a message. So she might not be able to answer everyone back, but she'll she'll read them all. Um, Oh, okay. I want to see that. Um, and um, so if you join our Facebook group or um, I'll post it on Instagram. So either one, in either one of those social medias, I'll, I'll do the finished product. It'll probably take me about a week to finish it because I'm slow as molasses to do anything. Um, but yeah, that's why I'll post the, the finished product. Yeah, the brown would have blended in more. Yes, it would have. It would have been a lot less um, um, bolder than the black, but I kind of, I'm kind of digging the black. It's, it's giving me creepy Halloween vibes. So, um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And if you have any questions, please leave them below. Come join us in Facebook land. We're having lots of fun over there. And um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Maybe if I could find my mouse. See you later.